Warren Keen with the Falcons. Uh, we're back with women's basketball coach Robin Fralick. Big thanks to Medical Mutual for being our sponsor. And coach, like uh, all coaches right now, you're in a, a brave new world of trying to figure things out. Uh, talk about how you're able to communicate with your team and, and how they're doing. Yeah, we are all in a new time. And, um, you know, I think that we're all conscientious of it is a scary time. And uh, I'm really... Uh, Purple and thinking of everybody who's out on those front lines, um, you know, that's obviously a priority. But for us, our team, that's that's still something that we are, you know, navigating these new times of of systematically um, connecting. But it's been a it's been a great new challenge for our staff and finding ways for our team to stay engaged. Uh, for us, you know, we just finished season, so there was a little bit of time, natural time to sort of decompress. Um, and then since then, we've been doing. Uh, we've actually split our team amongst our staff and we've been doing a lot of individual FaceTime calls and, and our team's been having their own call once a week and we've been having big, big team calls too um, throughout our time. So I, I, I've actually really appreciated that the one-on-one -on -one calls are, have been great. Um, and th that sort of time isn't time that you always get when we're all together and on a schedule and coming to and from and getting to the gym and leaving and, um, I feel like what we're focusing on is our level, our depth of relationships with our kids has been really able to grow during this time. Coach, we talked with uh, Jake Roy before about trying to keep the athletes training while they're all stuck at home. <laughs> mm -hmm. From the perspective and, and the hoops perspective, I got to imagine the skill part of the game is what you're most worried about. Uh, how many of your players are able to actually get to a some sort of court and a hoop to work on some of their skill if at all yeah well all of them you know i think that um they're playing college basketball some of the most you know they have a ball and an outdoor ball and an outdoor hoop and um it, it sort of brings you back you get a little bit more creative i know in our house we've probably played outside more in the last few weeks than we had in a long time um so they have access to that the thing that we've excuse me, told them that they can control during this time is you can control your fitness. Uh, you know, wherever you are, whatever equipment you have, you can, you can stay in shape. Um, nutrition, you know, that's something I always say, right. We can't out train a bad diet. Um, and then skill level. I mean, if everybody has access to a ball and a hoop, you can work on shooting ball handling. Uh, obviously nobody right now is playing five on five games or one on one games, but, um, those three things we feel like we can we can take ownership of during these times. Coach, a quick thought on your second season at BGSU. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> times I saw your team, there were a huge improvements. Now that the win column didn't have a large jump and then the very rugged mm -hmm. conference, but what did you see that you were pleased with from year one to year two? Um, yeah, I, I feel like we improved a lot. Um, and you're right, it didn't translate uh, necessarily. We, we did have more wins, but it didn't translate to the level that I thought that we had gotten better. So uh, we, I did the math and uh, of our division one games, we lost by 2.4 points per game, you know, and we had five overtime games. So uh, we feel like we've really, you, I know the things behind the scenes that keep getting better and keep improving and um, you know, those bring momentum. And if we keep taking steps forward, we feel like we can get on the other side of that. Um, but we became a, we were a better offensive team points per possession. We were a better defensive team points per possession. Uh, some of our returners, uh, you know, we do their development plans. And part of that is we show their growth over their career. And if you look at Madison Parker's growth, she made six threes as a freshman. And this year she made 98. You know, Angela Perry shot 57% from the field. I think she improved her field goal percentage by over by almost 10%. Um, so there was some really, you know, Katie Huntley and Sis increased significantly from her freshman year. So we, we're seeing a lot of really good development. Um, but obviously, we've got to continue to, to take those next steps to, to push through that threshold. Well, you touched on a few of the key personnel that'll be a big part of, of next year right there. Mm -hmm. but look to the composition of your roster, what with newcomers and uh, whatever losses you have to replace. Uh, yeah. You bring back a team that's got a lot of experience. 
We do. We do. I feel like for the first time since I've been here, we bring back a team with a lot of experience and a lot of kids that have had uh, opportunities on the court. I mean, I look at <clears throat> Katie Hemphley, Madison Parker, uh, Angela Perry have now played a lot of minutes in our league. Alyssa Brett for us played a lot of minutes as a freshman. Uh, we're really excited about our new kids. Um, they're a group that we, we had a long time to recruit. Um, we feel like we know them really well and we're, uh, I love our, our mix of experience and, and um, young kids that we feel like are going to come in and, and really impact our program. Coach, assuming that we get to do everything as normal with basketball as you look ahead to the season, what are some of the non-conference highlights and some of the, the markers of your season that you're looking forward to? Going into next season, Todd? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see how this all shakes out, you know, with our with our scheduling and what what we end up being allowed to do and, and play and all that. But um, uh, we're going to have more home games. So that's something I'm really excited about. We're going to have a much more balanced schedule between being home and being on the road. Last year, we played seven straight road games in the non-conference, which, you know, you grow up quick through that. Uh, but this year, we're going to have a it's going to be more balanced. So. That piece I'm excited about. The league is going to be good. I mean, we can count on that. The league's, uh, I the league was outstanding again this year, and, and it's going to be the same next year. So uh, that's that's always going to be what we're working towards. The non-conference piece. I, I mean, we're still finishing some of our contracts and all that, so I can't speak too much on that. But um, I am excited that we should, if all goes as planned, be at the stroll uh, more next season. Well, that would be great, Coach. Before we let you go, as you look ahead to year three now, we talked about the progression a little bit. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things, where are some of the areas that you've got to be just a bit better to be competitive? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the things that are really clear that we have to get, we have to become better defensively. Um, we, were, we were a really solid offensive team, but we've got to be better defensively to, um, you know, change the outcome. Um, we've got to be a better rebounding team. We've got to figure out ways to create more possessions, whether that's through second shots or um, free throws or steals. You know, we've got to find ways to to increase our possessions per game. Um, and then lastly is free throw shooting. I mean, we – I think the outcome of some of our games would have been different if we just shot free throws better. That's an area that we feel like we can really control. We shot more this year, so that was a good step but we've got to shoot them better. Thanks to Medical Mutual for being our sponsor. We're quarantined with the Falcons, so women's basketball coach Robin Fralick. We appreciate your time, and hopefully we'll be seeing your team uh, on schedule at the Stroh this fall. Yeah, thank you, and I hope everyone's doing well.